how many if, you, if you've tried to do it before trying to uh try to set this up yourself and it's very very difficult so um we'll keep working on that and we'll we'll do a class on that alone so and um, that sounds like a great idea that would be a great class to do nadia it's good to see everybody we'll probably have some more people coming in we want to go on and get started uh we have in our chat box we have um a link to our cheat sheet and uh i hear a lot of times nadia you know uh, it's like what do we post on social media i don't know what to post well our last training was about the value of social media for real estate professionals, realtors, and now we're going to talk about uh, what can you post. We've got a lot of ideas for you, and there's going to be no shortage on what to post. So I'll introduce myself. I'm Alan McNabb, Image Building Media, and uh, glad to have everybody with us tonight. Uh, chat in and raise your hand. We want to have as much participation as we can. And I've got with me uh, Nadia with Graystone. And uh, Nadia, why don't you introduce yourself and uh, say something to get us started here? Great. Yes, I'm excited about having this class with Alan, um, Nadia Daggett with Graystone. I'm the broker of Graystone. And I'm excited to be sharing uh, these techniques with you because I know when we're posting as agents um, all the time, you see um, basic, I've sold this house, this house has been sold, this house has been sold, and how many times do people get that excited about that so um today we're going to go over a little bit more about getting getting your traffic and be more engaged with your audience and so we're kind of going to go over other things that you can post and to get more involvement in your social media uh 100 so let's go on and get started and uh if you want to pull up our cheat sheet uh we've got that uh in the chat box you can go on and pull that up and um uh, we're going to get uh, we're going to get started. First of all, as I was thinking about as I was thinking about this, and let me share my let me share my screen here. As I was thinking about this, the first reaction I imagined having was, "My goodness gracious, I don't have a million hours a week to be doing all of this." And uh, I want to first of all alleviate your fears. Um, and uh, I'll put a little commercial in here for ourselves. This is our uh, website for the uh, services we provide in the real estate industry. And this is our social media plans. And you'll see that our DIY tool is only $29 a month. This is the exact same tool that we provide to Greystone and it will cut down your social media, the time you spend on social media, by more than 90%. It is, it is, you know, for just a few dollars, if you use it for a while, you're going to say, man, this is the one thing that I get like the most out of. It saves me so much time. So don't worry about the things we talk about and you say, my goodness gracious, I don't have enough time for this. Yes, you do, because with a tool, whether you use ours or there's several on the market, um, yes, you do. So don't worry about that. Don't worry about the time. Okay, so the first one is, um, Nadia, polls, quizzes, and contests. That's the big thing. Those are hot. And, uh, you know, to be, uh, what are like, let's take the first one, polls. What are some cool polls that realtors could be running on their social media, sharing on their social media, that people just get engaged, they eat it up, and they're just getting more and more people coming to their social media? What do you think? What are some ideas? And everyone else, please chat in something so we can see your chat coming in. And uh, Nadia, what do you think? Yeah, well, I know one of our agents was Valdo. He posted this uh, great picture of this house that he drove by and it was completely pink from the top to the bottom, all the outside to the everything, even the plants even look pink. And uh, so it'd be fun. Post that out there and say, what do you think? You know, it, get, it gets attention, it gets your audience engaged. And once your audience is engaged, they see more of your posts. So it's kind of a, they respond to your post they start seeing more of your post. That's so right. doing stuff like that is, is pretty fun. Cool. And how about some now and some polls would be um you know what you know what do you think would 
be the best color for this house? Pink, red, orange, green, take a poll. Um, you know, what, um, what are, what are home buyers, what is the feature most home buyers are looking for? And then give them a list. Mm -hmm. And uh, taking polls, doing contests, and also quizzes. They're really hot. I mean, they're, so what would be an example of a quiz? And I'm looking at my chat, y'all chat in now. What would be some quizzes that you could be putting out on social media that people are just going to start gobbling up? They're just going to come back. They want to take these quizzes and all of this. What do you think? Yeah, there's so many things that you could do in uh, in real estate. You could take all kinds of quizzes um, from our from our stager, how to stage, things like that, some kind of quiz that would get them involved. Um, I'm trying to check out the chat. I haven't seen anybody chat anything in yet. So I know, Michael, you want to chat something in there. I know you're typing away. So, um, so yeah, let me know if there is something that you want to add into this as well. And I'll go ahead, Alan. Yeah, so, you know, quizzes like, um, uh, what's the first thing you need to do uh, what's the first thing you need to do when buying a house? Uh, you know, most people are going to say, oh, I got to contact a realtor or something like that. No, no, no. no. First thing you need to do is get pre-approved because your realtor can't take you to go see anything until you're pre-approved. They're not going to waste their time. So quizzes, uh, polls are really super hot and uh, contests. Um, who doesn't like to win something, right? And uh, the word free, free is one of the hottest buzzwords. Uh, to have a contest, to have a poll, to give away some prizes. This is some of the hottest stuff out on the internet. And you say, well, my goodness, how do I, how do, I do this? Let me share my screen again really quickly. And uh, I'll show you uh, some little tools very quickly. I'll show you the websites. One that we are using right now is WooBox. WooBox. Um, this is used by some of the biggest companies out there. You can do polls, polls. You can do quizzes. As a matter of fact, we're working on a quiz for real estate right now. Real estate uh, for realtors. Um, so this is this is really super simple to do. Here is another one, uh, viral, viralsweep.com. We've used them before. Uh, they make it really easy. And here's a third one, gleam.io. We've, uh, we've got a customer that does gun giveaways monthly and um, man just burns it up over the internet and he uses gleam.io. So for a few bucks, you can get a tool like this. You can be engaging your audience. And when you're, you know, what value, what value, I see we've got a chat in there. What value is it to do things like this? Why are we doing things like this? Nadia, see what our chat is and then uh, tell me what you think there. Yeah, um, well, the value that you're getting from here is the engagement. So if your clients, if you're, if you're um, uh, people that are your social media network is not engaging in your Facebook, then they do not see the posts that you're posting. So once they're engaging in your post, they see more of your posts. They're going to keep going back and they're going to keep seeing it. So you want them to reply. That's why a lot of people put those posts out there and say, hey, say yes to this. And then, then they actually get more people and more traction uh, to their Facebook pages. And uh, Lisa Kay, she says, love engagement with real estate humor as well. Yeah, you know, uh, you could run a contest with, um, you can run a contest and have people submit real estate jokes. <laughs> and then you can have people vote to what they think the best one is. And then you can give away a prize. You can also do picture contests picture could be funniest picture house for sale it could be like um, uh, send a picture of the house you wish you could buy I mean just anything like that and then have people come and 
vote and then give away prizes. Um, this stuff is just, uh, this stuff is really hot on the internet. There's websites, this is like, that they just thrive off of this stuff. And when you do this, of course, so somebody's got to register, right? They got to register to do this. When they register, what do they do? First name, last name, email address, maybe phone number. And then what are you going to do with that information, guys? You're going to put it in your database. And so you're going to grow your database. Uh, what, is, what is it? HGTV, right? Uh, they're giving away these fabulous homes. I think they gave away a home and an RV last time, sometimes a car, and they give away cash. And people go there every day and they put in their email address over and over and over and over again. And so then you're building your database. And as real estate professionals, as real realtors, you know what's more valuable than anything else. You know what's more valuable than your website or your social media, and that is your database. This is a great way to grow your database. And then, of course, once you've got them in your database, then you're going to market to them for years and years and years. Okay, Nadia, any other uh, thoughts there before we move on? No, I think that is a, a great thing to do. All the little tricks um, to get people to get more engaged in your website, into your into your social media is great because then people will be able to connect with you, know you as a person, and they'll see more of your posts. All right. So now let's talk about the next one and get ready to chat in y'all and uh, uh, post videos. Man, this is so big, so big in real estate. So what are you going to, what videos are great to post on social media? Well, you know, Jorge, he's kind of likes videos. Um, so he has definitely been a very uh, good influence on us with uh, real estate. So he's been guiding us on uh, different topics as we've been growing. Um, but uh, some great ones, of course, are on your own properties as you're selling them, especially during this time where people can't go see the properties. Um, so definitely doing those, doing some off market and just letting people know who you are. Um, anything that's uh, coming up on your mind, and this is what Jorge says all the time, Anything that comes up in your mind, that you're passionate about that day, go ahead and do a video because people want to know about things that are in the industry and you doing those videos puts you in front of everybody. Yeah, you know, um, uh, the social media channels changed their algorithm some time ago to give preference to video, you know. So let me tell you what, if you're not doing video, you're missing the boat. I mean, you're just totally missing the book. And it's so easy to do, right? You know, uh, what is it? We've got COVID and uh, American Idol. What did they do? They had people competing at home, right? How did they put that on television? They used iPhones. If it's good enough for national television to do videos with an iPhone or an Android or whatever else, I'm an Android user. I mean, we can all do that. And if we're not doing video, we're missing out. Videos about properties we just listed, right? Okay. What other videos? What other types of videos? What yeah, does anybody have, yep. uh, yeah, what kind of chats? Do you guys want to chat in some of the videos that you guys have done? We've got new properties listed, right? We've yeah, got, we got the new properties listed. Um, we also have um, when we're doing an open house, those are really good. I, I like doing those when we're doing an open house because you're seeing the people coming through and getting the interaction. Um, so those are kind of fun to just get people involved as well, because, you know, you're sitting at home for a long time. It's kind of fun to do. Um, so, uh, yeah, those are a lot of fun. I, I enjoy doing those as well. The uh, um the open houses, the live videos, the new properties, uh, the education. Now, how many of you, if you can chat, chat in, how many of you follow your competitive real estate agents to see what they're doing? Chat in. If you follow your competitors, do you get their newsletter? Do you watch them on social media? And you look at some of the biggest in Tampa Bay, 
I'll tell you one that I follow besides Jorge and Greystone is Duncan Duo. Mm -hmm. Love them or hate them, Duncan Duo. Because man, they sell a lot of houses. And you know what I get every week from one of the owners? A video email every week. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you've ever, have you ever been to their website? All over their website is video, video testimonials, hundreds of video testimonials from happy clients. That's another good one, right? Video testimonials. When you sell a house, my goodness, the people are so happy. They've just closed. They're in their brand new home. And guess who the hero is? It is you, you know? So video is really, really super hot. Um, and live video, the algorithm, the algorithm as it's been changed both by Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, there is preference for live video. And uh, what's a good example? What, what, you know, what are some good things to do live video for? What do you think, Nadia? Um, yeah, so some good live videos or if you're going to go ahead and, and view a property and go see the status of the property, showing it that way, that's a good live video. Um, meeting with some of your other agents, um, that's something that I know we've been doing a little bit with. I'm doing one tomorrow with Lisa um, and kind of showcasing each other. So those are really good live videos as well. Kind of just break in. If you guys are together, you guys have an idea, let's do a live video. And I know um, doing live videos is is a very, um, I guess, out there thing to do. So I like you're saying the algorithm is huge to get that uh, to do live videos versus just you know staged and setting up. So I completely agree. Yeah, you know, guys, and um, you know, realtors they're professional talkers, you know, and 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 there's no reason not to be doing live videos. I mean, you would be talking in front of somebody live. There's no reason not to do live videos, mm -hmm. and quite honestly more people are going to see it when it's live and you know instead of you, know, you might get four five six ten times more people because you've done a live video facebook is going to push more people there and and you, you may not have that many people watching when you do it but afterwards you could have thousands of people watch that video so you know i sometimes i tell clients i said look you got to understand how the game is played. It doesn't matter if you like doing videos. It doesn't matter if you like, you know, uh, doing videos at all. It doesn't even matter if you like social media. Personally, I spend zero time on social media personally. Zero. I, I, it's not the thing. It's not something I'm going to do. But business wise, you got to do it. And the videos and the live videos, you just got to do it. They're hot. They're hot. Yeah, and Lisa Kay says she loves doing um, videos on mo mo model homes, I believe, and her favorite team is the Bohannon, so she watches that as well to uh, keep her up to date on what's going on. Cool, I gotta check. I gotta check that team out, man. That's awesome. You know, you 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 gotta watch your competitors, right? Because it's about competition, right? I mean, we're competing, you know, and um, you you've got some of the big teams even in Tampa Bay um, uh, that are spending a million plus a year in marketing. So they know some things we don't know, right? Because they've spent a pile of money. They've, they've made a lot of mistakes. It's cost them a lot of money. Uh, you know, they might be paying people piles of money to help them out and to, to you know, tell them what the newest and whatever is. So man, you know, you got to watch what's going on and you, you know, you don't have to invent the wheel. You just got to get on the wheel, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, Nadia, let me check our list here. See what we've got next. All right, so um, posting new listings. Um, you know, you did make a good point about that because that can be really boring, right? So how can we do post our new listings so that they're just not totally ignored? Um, 
yeah, there's a few things that we've been doing. And one thing that's exciting uh, for us here at Greystone is that you actually don't have to be doing this. Um, we have our social media manager that is doing this for you. So that's why we have like the first sales. Um, we have that group in WhatsApp. So when you sell something, all you have to do is put the picture in there and then we can go ahead and uh, submit it for you across the board for you. But um, you can make it a little bit different. Um, I would say when you're saying posting about new listings, do a video, do a video, do a live video about a new listing. Um, once it goes on to MLS, kind of uh, showcase it because basically all we are are marketers. Um, we're just advertisers. Um, so you want to be able to market this higher than any other realtor out there because it's it's a home. Um, so you want to show it to be more than a home, more more into advertising, push it more as you're the advertiser. You're not just a seller of a home. So yeah, you, know, you know, realtors, real estate professionals, they're salespeople, right? You could go sell anything, right? You know, because marketing is marketing, selling is selling, right? And so that yeah, that's what it's about. We are currently um, um, one of the, one of the other real estate agencies we've helped for some time in Tampa. Um, we're running ads right now um, for luxury homes, and uh, they're they've just introduced like um, a luxury home for sale, a little bit over a million bucks. And so very simple. We did a very sophisticated post that says introducing this property for sale and i mean it's just it's not the same thing hey i'm selling a property buy my property da 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 this introducing this very this luxury property that is on the market and uh, running ads for it man and it is doing great you know and so just things like that try to think outside of the box don't try to do what everybody else is doing and, and, you know, get, get the properties out there. And um, I, I'm going to, uh, I find it funny sometimes, right? Uh, sometimes, sometimes I'll hear from a customer or from a real estate agent says, my website's not doing me any good. I don't get anything out of it. I said, well, are you sending people to your website? No. Do you put it on social media? No. I said, if you had a business card and never handed it out, would a business card do you any good? Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So um, let me share my screen. So when, you, when you're putting out your properties, if you put your properties on your website, where should you be seeing, where should you be sending people to see your property? Um, here was the one I'm talking about right here. So we're running the ads and where do we send people to see this property? Of course, we send it to, we send them to the realtor's website. And what can they do when they go to see this property? They can click on a virtual tour. They can schedule a showing. They can save it as a favorite. And when they save it as a favorite, they submit their contact information. And they Alan, can we don't, are you sharing your screen, Ellen? Oh, I thought I was, hang on one second. No. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, thank you, thank you. Okay, great. So we send them to the website to see the property. And when they go to the, to the page, they can see the virtual tour, they can schedule a showing, they can save it as a favorite, they can send and request more information. And by doing this, it is all about capturing the lead. So if you, send, if you send them to like the MLS to see it, right? Um, in essence, what are you doing? Are you, if you send them to the MLS, are you capturing the lead? If you send them to realtor.com, what are you doing? Who, who's advertising on realtor.com or zillow.com? It's your competitors. You're sending them to look at the property where they're going to see all of these other agents you're trying to compete against. If you can put that on your website, send them to your website, and then you can collect that lead. So that's a great way to work it. So Nadia, any other thoughts on posting on posting properties? 
Yeah, no, I think that's a great idea, um, being able to post and have it linked to your website. And that's something that you offer, right? That we you offer these websites to the agents? Yeah, thanks for asking. Yeah, absolutely. And um, even you, know, you don't have to have the IDX on your website, right? Um, the IDX is the subscription service that pulls in the MLS properties. And, um, you know, it starts like 45 bucks a month just for the IDX. And Greystone does have the IDX for theirs. So, um, but you can still put the property on your website. And with the free websites, that is a perk for being a Greystone agent, there, there is the um, very simple way to add those properties right into your website. You put the images in there, you put the information about them, and you can still send them to your website and collect those leads. So yeah, absolutely, uh, Nadia. Greystone provides those websites at no charge and they can put those on there. They can get them all over social media and collect the leads. Yeah, super, super great thing that uh, Greystone does. All right, Nadia, any other thoughts there before we move on to the next one? No, I think you this is a great topic to have for the agents. All right, so uh, some of the other ones, posting pictures of uh, neighborhoods, uh, featured featured neighborhoods, and that's always great because uh, Nadia, do you find do you find that agents become experts in certain neighborhoods? It's like they're you know they've got a few neighborhoods, they're experts, they sold a bunch of houses, they they get a reputation, et cetera, like that. Yeah, absolutely. There's some agents that want to stay in their neighborhood. Um, and there's some that do want to expand, but they specialize in certain areas. Absolutely. So we do kind of um, know everything about one little area, but also we can expand out as well. Yeah. So, and that's great. If you are the go-to person for a community, you know, and that's, that, that would be multiple, many multiple neighborhoods. If you're the expert in that community, um, and then you know you're getting out pictures. Uh, and let me ask you, Nadia. So even if I'm, even if I'm uh, not the listing agent for a property, should I still be getting? Should I still be posting properties on my social media that are for sale in the community where I am the expert? Should I still be posting those properties on my social media? Well, absolutely, because not only are you looking to get a listing, of course, and especially in this market, but you're always also looking for the buyers. So if you're posting a house that maybe is not yours, it's similar to doing an open house to a property that's that you're not listing. You're still getting the buyers. You're still getting that uh, constant uh, feedback from people looking in there and you become the community lead. Exactly. Exactly. And, and, you know, it's really super easy to get these pictures, right? You know, it's super easy to get them. It's super easy to be getting them out on your social media and uh, just, just be that expert. And the, and the images are beautiful oftentimes. All right, Nadia, let's go to the next one. Okay. Let's talk a little bit because we won't get through all of this list. It's a lot of ideas just to give um, to give the agents, and I, I doubt any one agent would do it all, right? I would do all of these. These are, these are just different things. Nadia, how important and what is the value of promoting other businesses or your partners or referral partners and all of that on your social media? Talk about that, would you? Oh, goodness. I think this is huge. Um, when uh, as an agent, I think the the most important thing for you to be is a network. Um, so when you have when you're working with your clientele and you have your backup uh, network behind you, I know it happens to me all the time where I have um, a friend of mine asking me, hey, I'm I'm doing something on this property. Do you have an insurance agent that can help me? Yes, of course, I can pass that over to them. Same thing about a lender. I might not be getting the referral at that point. I might not be making any money, but I become their network. They know to come to me for real estate real estate services and then they know that I have that ability 
to keep growing and giving them the leads that they need, the, the information that they need. So now when they want to sell their house or they want to buy their house, they come to, to Greystone because they know that we have all of those parts that are needed because when you invest, we do the rest. So it's so important to be able to have that network behind you. It's kind of like having all your soldiers backing you up to make sure those transactions go smooth. Yeah, you know, and uh, you know, the most influential people in a community is going to have a website, right? The ones that are really aggressive with their marketing, they're going to be posting articles on their website. One, two, three, four articles a month on their website. So to share them with your network to engender goodwill can all be automated from the from the exact tool we use with Greystone. Greystone does the exact same thing, right, Nadia? Mm -hmm. You know, we're sharing we're sharing articles from uh, Bigger Pockets, Zello, Realtor.com, mm -hmm. um, some local news agencies, Forbes, Entrepreneur, et cetera, like that, right? That's all automated. There, the, not a person touches it. it. It just all happens automatically. It takes it takes just a few minutes to set up. And then you are sharing with the influencers of your communities. Maybe you're an expert in six communities throughout Tampa Bay. And so then you're sharing from your influencers and you know how much time it takes you to do that? Zero, zero. This is like free, free stuff, man. It's just waiting there for, to, for to, just to be done. Zero time. And, uh, and you get to be, you get to be the influencer. You get to be the person that's like knowledgeable and sharing all this stuff. And it takes zero work to do that. Zero. And uh, that's using the same tool we, we, we provide with uh, Greystone, $29 a month. I mean, it's just like dirt cheap. So that's like low hanging fruit, uh, low hanging fruit. All right, Nadia, any, any other thoughts on that? No, no, I think it. Uh, I think it's really important to make sure you have that network so you can share with them as much as possible. But yes, the RSS feed is very simple to have so that you can, um, it just, it's easy for you to, you can be out there networking and, and doing the jobs you need to do, but yet you're back there posting. And that's something that Greystone offers to all the agents, which is one of the biggest perks I think with Greystone because it takes so much time to do social media and to publish things out there on your on your platforms. Absolutely, 100%, 100%. And, and Greystone takes up, a, does a lot of that. However, Nadia, tell me this. Greystone is doing from a very broad base, right? And do it for the agents. Very important, saves a lot of time. But the agents should also be doing it for their niche, right? For, <laughs> for their network also. And just not rely completely on Greystone to do to do that because Greystone is doing it on a very broad basis, right? Yes, absolutely. So ours is done on a broad basis where we are sitting there and, um, and sharing um, multiple different things out to the public, but a lot of your um, network is looking for stuff specifically from you. So some of the stuff that we are going to be doing is posting your, you know, your just listed, your just solds for you, but also we're going to be um, posting multiple other things. But one thing you need to do is make sure that you are on there and take stuff that's from your business site and post it on your personal and do that. Um, um, maybe a, at least once a week, I would say, find an article that you really like and put it onto your personal. I know I'm not as good as I would like to be on that as well, but it makes a huge difference. It, it's kind of reminding your network that you are a realtor and half of those people, maybe they're not looking to buy or sell, but those are your walking billboards. So you want them to be able to push that for you. Absolutely, hundred percent. And Nadia, and and of course, any of the agents here, chime in. Let me hear your stories and everything. Um, and Nadia, you probably have some too. I've got a, uh, I've got a networking friend. Um, she works for a competitor. She is a real estate agent in in Tampa. Um, um, we help her with her social media. She just listed six homes. Just listed six homes. 
And you know what? Her website, she didn't get her website from us. Her website's broke and it's down. We do her social media for her. She relies like 99.99% on networking and just people remembering her name and just referring her out. And this is so important when you talk about networking and, you know, you're networking social media, you're networking email, you're networking face to face. And I mean, the business just comes to you when you're networking. Your thoughts, Nadia? Yeah, I completely agree. Um, uh, one thing that I've always been uh, a big fan of is making sure that everybody knows what's going on and what you're doing because you want your client base uh, or your basically your network to be able to push you because a lot of them are not really uh, uh, into the market, maybe right now buying or selling, but they're going to know somebody that knows somebody. And so you want to be in there. It's called uh, reminder media, basically go out there and remind them who you are. And we use social media to do that so that they can be your walking billboards to bring leads to you. And it'll just be, it'll be a rotating door. Just say they start breeding, bringing them to you. So it's just like seeding them and then the flowers grow. All right, guys. Okay, so let's press on here. Um, Nadia, how about um, posting home buying tips, decoration uh, tips, renovation, um, renovation tips, and DIY? Let's talk about all of those types of things. Yeah, for, for us in the market, that's huge because you're showing them that you're the expert in the field. So um, one thing, I know it's hard for us when we have a lot of things going on to be current in this field. We do have a designer that we work with. Um, her name's Amy Stipkowski. So she's going to be doing some teachings with us, some trainings that we, I hope you're able to attend. So she can give you some updated ideas on what's going on in the market. And then you can go ahead and share that on social media because people want to know and want to know what is going on in the market. What, what is new? Is the barn door finally out? Or um, you know what, what should you put in your house to be able to sell? So I think that's a huge topic that people do want to hear about on social media. Yeah, and I want to hear from some of the agents here, you know, and I'm just brainstorming out loud, guys. And agents, please chime in. Nadia, there's no reason why Greystone couldn't be doing this and going out on all for all the agents on their uh, on their on their social media, right? Yeah, yep, absolutely. Um, we we do do that most of the time. Do you mean for the design and staging? Well, yeah, well, yeah, for the design tips, for the DIY tips, you know, and stuff like that, you know. And um, I don't know if we're doing that right. Is is that uh, is that being done? This. I, I don't think so. Um, no, I think right now we have just started doing the um, just closed and just listed, but um, we are moving into that where we're going to be starting to post a little more personal, not personal, but a little more um, stuff like designs of what's trending in the market. We're going to be starting to do that advertisement as well. All right. So agents, I want to really hear from you here. Do you think that's a great idea? Uh, Greystone, you know, it's the, the DIY, the design tips. I mean, I think that would be really, really great. So it's, you know, it's great to have the properties. It's great to have properties sold and all this, but it's great to have the other stuff too, you know, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. that yeah, because awesome. it shows that you're the expert in the field. So it keeps everybody and you're on topic. And so people know that you're out there and that you're able to help them in one way or another. So we definitely want to keep pushing that as well. All right, and sorry my camera is messing up and my background and all that, but such as it is here. All right, uh, Nadia, how about um, seasonal home tips? What what would some some examples of that be? Some seasonal home tips. Um, what I thought about that when I saw your uh, topics is um, basically the seasonal home um, ideas are basically what's in the market right now, what's going on. Uh, right now it's spring, people are starting to come out. So absolutely giving them some tips on when people are buying, when it's slow. Um, right now it's a seller's market, hands down. I mean, we can't keep anything in inventory. So keeping them to know what's on topic at that point as well. Um, you know, things change very quickly. 
date, but being able to let your clientele know what's going on or your, your network to know what's going on uh, seasonally is huge. And also being able to, uh, you know, kind of promote the seasons and showing the holidays. It's an easy way to do marketing that way as well. And here's another one. Um, here's another one. And let me hear from the agents here. Nadia, I just, I'm just looking at this list and I'm saying, you know, I think, uh, I think there's uh, this one also would be local events. I mean, all the agents here for the most part are Tampa, right? Yes, everybody, all of our Tampa agents Bay. are in Tampa Bay at least within an hour. Yep. So, I mean, there's no reason why Greystone couldn't be doing some of the local big events, right? And, and getting that on social media and also helping there with that, huh? Absolutely. I know for us as well, we participate in some community service as well. We can be promoting that um, and promoting some of the stuff that's going on in our community. Um, but the things that we're involved in, our open house, our, um, you know, things coming up, or doing some live videos, stuff like that. Yeah, we need to be promoting that as well. Well, Nadia, so let me ask you, we've got just a few minutes left here. I don't want to run out of time. So, so this is great stuff, right? Okay. But how, how does this help agents make money? Because at the end of the day, right, it, it's great to be a good person. It's great to be involved. But at the end of the day, we got to make money, right? So how does this help the, why, why should an agent get up in the morning and they're going to spend an hour on social media and they know it's going to help them make money and feed their family? Well, I think this is a, a very interesting thing to talk about because I know a lot of people, um, when they start real estate, it takes a while to start making money because they've spent too much time on social media. They put too much work into it and they're pretty much doing that the whole time and they're not really connecting. They're doing stuff, um, maybe um, promoting themselves as, um, you know, what's going, you know, this is listed, this is sold, but really they're not connecting with the people. So I think not only do we need to focus on how much we are doing on social media, but making sure we're using that time wisely engage with them because yes when you're engaging it's kind of just like you're trickling and people are just starting to trickle and you're getting the listings you're getting the buys social media is where it's at especially right now during covid where it's hard to connect with people people are more apt to talk to you digitally um, so if you're doing live videos you're interacting with them some people don't want to meet with you you're going there and doing uh, uh showing a homes where you're doing them digitally you're doing them by facebook um you're doing them by facetime sorry so um, right now, by able being able to use the social media platform, people are going to start connecting with you uh, more now than ever before people used to look at social media and say, well, I want to talk to this person. I want to go in and I want to sit down and talk to them right now. This is their way to connect with you. So during this period of time. So right now, using this as a platform, it's, it's the best way to get people to bring their clients to you and to get more money and then you're able to get your listing agreement sometimes i get listing uh signed without even meeting with them because they've met me on social media yeah you know what you feel like a lot of time we and we get the same feedback in our industry you know that people feel like they know you they feel like you're friends you know and um and i guess this is true with real in the real estate industry also i mean We've got, I would say the majority of our customers I've never been face to face with. Um, and, um, um, you, you know, a lot of people just prefer it that way, you know? And so um, it, it is so important to develop this rapport. And, and how about messaging? Do you have people that message you on Facebook, you know? Uh, I mean, that's a thing, right? You know, absolutely. I do a lot of my off market on Facebook Messenger than most anything else. Um, I'm con I would say probably about 10 requests a day for people asking me questions about homes. Um, so Messenger is a huge thing uh, to have, which brings us into the uh, bot class that you had. Um, it's it's a it's a great way to communicate, and I think um, on Messenger it has become one of the one of the hottest way to ways to communicate with your client. Am I right? 
as one of the hottest. I mean, I've, we've got clients that, I mean, just constantly are just, um, you know, messaging us on Messenger, you know, and sending stuff and attachments and, and uh, you know, it's becoming more and more popular uh, along with uh, WhatsApp and text messaging. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's the way people communicate. And so again, you know, people, we become friends, we, you know, we, we contract business and, um, you know, being present on social media and networking, just like you would anywhere else, uh, so super important. And uh, of course, some of the techniques we've shared before, like, uh, you know, posting in Marketplace and say, send me your email address. I mean, people are just dropping those email addresses like crazy. And then having that database and building it up at the end of the day, right? It's all about you know, building these relationships, building your database, um, and you use social media to do that, you use your website to do that, and it's about building your database because email marketing has the highest return on investment at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. You know, you want, you got to get them into your database, and boy, that's, uh, Jorge isn't with us today, right? But in that He's so big on that, right? Oh, it's the most important thing is building that database. And that's actually what I do. The first thing I do when I, they messenger me on, uh, on Facebook, I say, absolutely, I'll send you some more information on this off-market property. I need your email and phone number first because then I get to put it in that database. And right now, I believe we're way over 30,000 in our database. And I know Jorge, he's had people in there for years. He just closed on uh, getting a listing for someone that was 10 years ago had joined his database and he's been following him all this time. And now is his time to start investing. Um, So building that database, maybe they sit there quiet for a while, but those are your little seeds that you have. And then you're able to pull from them. 30,000, I believe is in our, in our active campaign. Yeah, guys. And I want to, I want to give you a, I want to give you a link right here. Um, I'm going to go back. I'm going to put it in the chat. If you do not have a database, HubSpot, HubSpot provides a free unlimited CRM. Now you, you can't do everything with the free CRM, but man, it is better than nothing. And uh, there's no reason for everyone not to have a database, not to have a CRM. And that is the number one thing above all others. All of these other things are just to build that database. And that's where you make your money. Build the database, be marketing, and, you know, engage them, social media, website, articles, information, all this other stuff. But at the end of the day, if we're not building our database, we're missing, we're totally missing the boat because that's where, that's where the big money is at. All right, Nadia, we got other things on our uh, cheat sheet. Folks can check that out and everything. I think we hit the biggies and all that, some other little ideas and everything. Um, guys, uh, get in uh, any, any closing questions, any closing thoughts, get those in here so we can, uh, you know, we'd like to hear that and we're going to be getting out of here soon. Nadia, start giving us some final thoughts there. Yeah, I know uh, Lisa, Lisa Kay, so uh, she said that definitely to keep going with this because it's very important to stay on trend. Um, so I think it is, this is a great topic about social media and how we can gather more people this way. And I totally agree with you on the database. We're going to be doing some classes on what we use for our database so that you can use it as well. Because without a database, it's kind of like collecting business cards and just throwing them around your room and not uh, using them down the funnel. So you definitely uh, want to be able to have a database so you can keep moving forward, getting those people and then turning them into buyers or sellers. So, and not just business cards. So um, yeah, I think this is a great topic and thank you so much, Alan, for spending this time with us and giving us this information. I think this is huge as we grow and we're just gonna keep building as uh, with Greystone. So thank you so much for doing this for us. You're so welcome. And guys, you know, with the database thing, I don't want everybody to freak out and say, oh, I don't have time to do with all, deal with all this email. But again, you know, there's automations, you put them in place, just like with your social media. And does it take a little bit to set up with your CRM? Yeah, it takes just a little bit to set up. 
but man, it takes care of these problems and you put somebody new in, it automatically launches an automation. They get a drip of a few emails, you know, and then you, then you have them automatically go up where, you know, where they get, oh, maybe they hear from you once a quarter or something like that. You've got an automation for a happy birthday or a happy anniversary. And it's like no work, you know, it's just a little setup and it's no work. So these things that uh, take advantage of them, I mean, they're just really, really hot. Okay, everybody, thanks so much. Appreciate the great comments. And uh, tell you what, it's been a great reminder for me. We can sure do a better job with all of this too. And, uh, um, you know, I've appreciated uh, being with everybody and we'll go on and close out. I'm Alan McNabb with Image Building Media and uh, our branded website for Real estate services is expertrealtymarketing.com. So if we can help you out, check us out. Got a lot of education on our website. So we, uh, we're glad to do that also. Nadia, you want to close out on your end? Yeah, thank you so much for helping us with this. And uh, yes, we are Greystone Investment Group, where you invest and we do the rest. And I'm the broker of Greystone, Nadia Daggett. And if you ever want to buy or sell or look for off-market properties, we are here for you. And you can check us out at greystonefl.com. Thanks, guys, for being with us. We'll catch you next time.